Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin the wheel again to see what I will do in this episode to make money. So welcome to the 28th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash, but before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the Cypress Flats vehicle warehouse, and it's going to cost us $2,675,000 in order to purchase this. And currently right now, I have $932,000. So we still have a ways to go before we can actually purchase this vehicle warehouse. But how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go and try to find G's cash. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do... Is this the Doomsday Heist? Oh, boy, yes, it is. All right, so we have to do one of the Doomsday Heist in this episode. And since this is such a good wheel spin, we are forfeiting our next wheel spin. So we're only doing one of the Doomsday Heist in this episode. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of one to three. And we're spinning this wheel to determine what act we are going to to do for the doomsday heist since with the doomsday heist you have act one act two and act three but let's just spin the wheel and let's see which one we get honestly don't know what one i really want today but um it looks like i'm going to have to do act three aka the hardest one but it's going to give us the most amount of money so i'm a little torn here we will be rewarded with a lot of money but i think i'm gonna suffer so i guess buckle up your seat belts and hold on tight because this is going to be probably a roller coaster of an episode with this heist act number three all right, so I get to experience the ups and downs of act number three of the doomsday heist, the doomsday scenario. But before I jump into that, I first have to go and try to find G's cash. All right, as you can see on the minimap, I've made it over to the G's cash location. Uh, yeah, I just have to run around here and try to find where G's cash is. It's such a bizarre location, but I don't know. I'll find it. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, piece of cake. It's in this, like, dumpster thing right here. So, yeah, let's collect this G's cash, and boom, there we go. We got $16,808 plus ammo and snacks. All right, so now I'm sitting at $949,000, but now it is time for me to go over to my facility and start up act number three of the Doomsday Heist. I'm going to get all the preps out of the way right now, and then I'll see you when I can actually start up any of the setups. All right, so I completed all the prep work that I can do, and now it is time to actually get into the setups for this heist. So the first one we are going to have to do is we are going to have to rescue Agent 14. I swear that guy just wants to get captured. Whatever. It's okay, Agent 14. I will come in and rescue the day. You know, you know how I do. Yeah, let's just get into it. All right, here we go. We are rescuing Agent 14. And honestly, when I was trying to find people for this setup, I walked away. And then when I came back, we already had a full lobby. And all I had to do was ready up. I am recording this on a Saturday, which I usually don't record on weekends and well the people are out today wanting to do a heist i mean that could be a good thing but that could also be a bad thing because you know a lot of bad people might join yeah in this we have a level 69 oh that's me oh, oh oh i'm the funny number awesome uh and then we have a little 98 level 36 and level 33 so no one like you know really overwhelmingly good to be honest here so i might have to put the team on my back but you know how it is like god i cannot drive today first of all i've been missing some turns I've been wrecking a lot, so I need to cut that out now, even though this heist really doesn't need a ton of driving and whatnot. But I'm so used to putting a team on my back when it comes to, like, these heists, or especially the Doomsday heist. Like, my back has been trained, like, aggressively to carry all these, like, buffoons in these heists. So, I will carry everyone to rescue Agent 14, because Agent 14 is an absolute idiot. Alright, so we've made it to the shipyard. We have to rescue Agent 14 from Meriwether. There's a ton of people that we need to kill before we can actually get to Agent 14 and start rescuing him so time to just shoot a bunch of people oh you know what i could have done i forgot to bring my room i think i did that the first time i did this heist in season number two i just love driving the virtue but you know i keep forgetting that i have better vehicles my personal vehicle has been destroyed either a jackass or you're a moron none of those is a good option to be honest i parked my vehicle away from everyone too so that, that's fantastic so thank you teammate for doing that anyways we took out all the guards i mean it's a lot easier with four people I will say that. I don't think that one guy who blew up my vehicle has even come over here yet. So that's awesome. Hmm. 
Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Hey, Juggernauts. I've really missed you. Oh, my God. One of my teammates has already died. We're doing this on normal. I forgot to mention that. We're doing all these setups on normal. And then the finale. All right. Do not pull out sticky bombs. That was a bad idea. Okay. That's on me. If you think I blew that up like that close to me. No, I'm not that stupid. It's just a Juggernaut's like midair shot the sticky bomb. And I went kaplooey. That's on me. I'll take the blame on that one. Now, everyone, let's click the restart button. I hate when we do heist and everyone just sits there and just goes, Duh, what do I do now? You click the restart button, moron. Bro, who was the dork that brought the bike? And who's the dork that left? CEO quit. Your CEO quit. That's kind of weird because I'm the CEO. Rockstar, I need an apology. You need to fix that. No one even quit. Your CEO quit. No one's left. Your CEO quit. I am the CEO. I have no CEO above me, morons. Uh-huh, yeah, your CEO quit, please. I am going to return my personal vehicle because I don't trust that one teammate, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, too, this is probably the hardest setup when it comes to act number three before the finale. So it gets easier after this. It's still is annoying after this but it gets easier so i would just like to get through this and then we'll really be cruising all right there we go everyone's been killed so now now we have to go back to agent 14 hey bud hey why'd you get caught oh yay all right all right, all right. you're not gonna shoot a sticky bomb out of my hand this time it's just not gonna happen not on my watch Bro, sticky bomb? Or sticky bomb. A little grenade action, maybe? Bro, who's using an up and atomizer? Whose bright idea was it to use an up and atomizer? Oh, I wasn't even using this. Oh, shoot. We have more. Forget we have more. This is so fun. All right. Someone actually knows how to take out these juggernauts, and I really appreciate it. I don't have the weaponry to, like, easily take out one of these juggernauts. I know people are like, oh, use the minigun. Um, yeah, this is loser to luxury, not minigun to luxury. It's kind of interesting. Oh, someone committed suicide. Congratulations. How about don't do that again? Okay. We have one more juggernaut to take out. He's right there. All right, here we go. Okay, we got him. All right. All right, Agent 14, let's go. I will rescue you, you know, like how I usually do. Dude, I am so focused right now. I'm not really talking too much because I am just laser focused, absolutely destroying these goons and whatever. All right, we're about to make it in this building. And in this building, there's going to be more juggernauts. That is so lovely. And maybe not the place to die, even though I wasn't planning on dying. But I don't want to die here because then we're going to have to go and kill all those people again. I mean, I I have a homing missile. I don't want to use this, but I think I'm going to have to just do a little whoop. Ooh, that was actually dead on. Good aim, Dr. Okay, the juggernaut died right as I shot. Thank you. All right, Dr. Clutch, perfect aim. Turns out I was right. All right, cool. All right, all the juggernauts are dead. Now we just have to kill the rest of the goons and get Agent 14 in another. No, I just remembered. We have more juggernauts. Oh, my gosh. It's like a juggernaut parade over here. Like, come on, Avon. You should invest in yourself, not in juggernauts, idiot. I don't have the weaponry to be doing this. Like, I would love to have, like, a minigun or something like that, but I, I just don't. So I have to sit here with an AR. Oh, the problem with this specific location is that there's a fence right here, so I can't really do like a homing missile too well, but I don't know. All right, Agent 14, let's get out of here now. All right, Agent is in my helicopter, I think. So yeah, we just have to go to the drop-off and we should be good to go. I know I've been complaining a lot during this setup, and honestly, this might have been one of the quickest times I've ever had trying to complete this setup. Usually, this takes me like a long, long time, and it still could because someone maybe would crash your helicopter, maybe their internet crashes, maybe a random storm will pop up above me me and then like i lose power just randomly but if we are able to complete this right here and just get to the drop off and then it says mission pass then this might be the quickest i've ever completed this setup and that's a good sign that's a good start i mean just remember the first time i did this heist for this season it took me eight hours to complete so hopefully that does not happen again. All right, here we go. We've made it to the drop off. Agent, you're here. Don't ever get caught ever again. Even though you probably are, I'm gonna have to go through that entire old process over at some point. But there we go. Set up pass. I'm a happy man. And of course I get platinum because I put the team on my back. You know how it goes. I didn't pull out sticky bombs this time. And then boom, obviously we completed this attempt. But let's move on to the next setup. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the second setup right here. We have to escort ULP because, well, ULP can't do anything on his own. Um, it is actually two days later for me since I did the first setup. I did the first setup on a Saturday. That was such a great idea for me. And then my Saturday got swamped and I didn't get back to it yesterday on Sunday. So here I am doing the hardest heist in the game on a Monday. What a great way to start out my week. Yeah, this setup is annoying just overall. And the first part of it being annoying is the fact that I have to go all the way to Polito Bay. So yeah, I have to drive five miles north all the way up to Polito Bay just to escort ULP because 
his ULP can't do anything on his own. I have to literally hold his hand. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we are doing this setup with a level 28. Yeah, we're doing this on a Monday. Not a lot of people are joining. And the first person to join after, I don't know, maybe like three minutes was a level 28. And I said, screw it. So here I am. Hopefully he doesn't screw up. All right, here we go. We've made it over to the construction yard. And I always forget, this is a very good mission to do with a Karuma. Yeah, my teammate is not even here. He is so far away. It's not even funny. So right now it is pretty much a one man band, which honestly I'm okay with. I'd rather it be in one man band. And I know that I screwed up versus my teammate screwing up because I can control what I can do. I can't control what my other teammates do. Oh, did my teammate finally show up? Yeah, my teammate literally just showed up. Jeez, there's like six of these guards left. I probably took out like 20 already. All right, and there we go. Everyone's taken out. Very nice. So now we need to get into the Chernobog right here. This big beefy thing. And then we have to escort ULP with this big Chernobog. Yeah, from this point on, this setup is pretty boring. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's way longer than it has to be. If you played this setup, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so from this point on, we're supposed to just follow ULP, who's in a helicopter right now. But the issue with ULP with this helicopter is the fact that ULP is going absolutely slow in a helicopter. Okay, I might be exaggerating a little bit here. I feel like the dozer, if you know what I'm talking about, in GTA Online might go faster than the pace that ULP goes. And if honestly, if ULP flies faster than a dozer, then it's not by that big of a margin. Like, I'm dead serious on that. I think it's a close race. And oh my god, my teammate cannot aim with this Chernobog. Okay, fantastic. So yeah, pretty much our job right now is to like kind of just take out all the helicopters that are going to be going after ULP. And since ULP is going incredibly slow, there's going to be a ton of helicopters. And my teammate is aiming the wrong way. You take it. There you go. You aim up there and then you shoot. There you go. There you get it. Okay. You forgot there's a lock on feature. Okay. Goodness. This teammate doesn't understand that there's a lock-on feature. He's making it a lot harder on himself. I've already gotten out once and, like, taken him out with my homing missile. I might have to keep doing that, honestly. Oh, great. I died. We're so close to being done with this. I cannot die one more time. I have to literally get out and kill everyone with a homing missile. I shouldn't be having to play like this, but I kind of have to. ULP is almost done, though, or at least almost to his location. So that's good, at least. Oh, yeah. By the way, for this setup, too, in the bottom right, ULP kind of has like a health bar for his helicopter. Obviously, we don't want that to run out. So that is why we kind of have to take out these helicopters. Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness. ULP finally came over my head tense said, hey, no one's coming after me anymore. Good. I don't know why anyone's after you, LP. Literally, his nickname stands for ultra lame person. Like, who would want to kill an ultra lame person? Like, why? He's not providing any value. He just gets kidnapped and he can't escort himself. So he literally has to hire people to escort him. Like, what, what are we doing here? And there we go. Set up past the ultra lame person has been delivered. You're welcome, government or who I don't remember who we're working for, but whatever. Let's move on to the next setup. All right, we're jumping into the third setup right here we are doing the barrage setup now the rest of the setups from this point on up until the finale are pretty easy at least in my opinion they're pretty easy but yeah with this setup we just have to go and steal a barrage which is kind of dumb like in the long run because well most likely we would use the kanjali to attack avon oh wait never mind i'm being stupid i forgot they said that they don't want avon to have this kind of technology but psh, i mean i could take on avon even if he had a barrage like who cares like, what is Avon going to do with a barrage that's going to, like, slow me down? Like, come on. Like, come on. What are we doing? All right, for this setup, we have a new teammate. We have a level 42. So, once again, not the best teammate, but hopefully we can do this first attempt. Let's just keep moving forward. All right, there we go. We have made it to the ambush point, and then uh, the convoy is supposed to be, like, charging us or whatever. Ah, yeah, there it is. It spawned in. So, yeah, you pretty much know what we have to do. We have to take out the barrage, but I'm going to go after the other bogeys first. My teammate's not doing anything good job teammate bro 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 why are you so close oh my gosh okay finally all right so now we have to get in
in the barrage. Wait, no, 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 no. I need to drive in the, the good seat. I want to drive in the gunner seat. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Put me in the gun. So yeah, right now we're taking this barrage to Sandy Shores Airfield where we're going to be met by a ton of Avon's guys. So yeah, we're going to have to take out even more people. All right, here we go. We are on the runway now and yeah, we have to make sure this plane doesn't take off. All right, there we go. That plane is dead. Now we have to take out everyone else that's over here. Honestly, it'd probably be better for us to get out. Yeah, I'm getting out here. Uh, I don't want to die. No, 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 no. Game. I was trying to eat snacks there. And my teammate died. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. Oh, come on. We have to spawn in over here. Oh, I don't usually fail a setup. This is not fun. Dude, stop flipping the vehicle, please. Dude, is my teammate losing brain cells in between that first attempt and this attempt? Like, what is happening? He's being so stupid right now. He's just driving all over the place. I mean, I, he might have just gotten inspiration from Lester saying that this is an all-terrain vehicle, aka go off-road. This is the third time. Nope, 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 nope. You're being stupid. Nope, nope, not happening. Not happening. Not happening. Oh, you're so lucky my car spawned so far away. My car spawned so far away. My car would have spawned in closer. I would have driven myself. This is getting ridiculous. All right, we finally made it back to the Sandy Shores airfield, and we didn't flip over once again. Shouldn't have to say that out loud but unfortunately i do okay to take out this helicopter did i just call this a helicopter i'm calling my teammate a moron but i think he's causing me to lose some brain cells in the meantime also because i called that a helicopter i am embarrassed by that that is not a helicopter it is a plane a big plane at that and that is me dying no 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 i don't want to do this again i don't want to have to go through that all over again god dang there's a lot of oh there's a lot of explodey barrels around here i like explode barrels in this situation poke your head there goes your head oh my god there's one more guy I, oh there's explodey barrel i'm being stupid i blame that on my teammate jeez okay now we have to get in the barrage the teammate better not die at this point i'm gonna be pissed if he does oh my gosh guy you missed the turn i should have done this on saturday this is all on me this is my fault i'm definitely not doing the finale with this guy i don't care if he does every other setup with me all right whatever set up pass let's move on to the next one all right here we go we're jumping into our second to last setup right here we have to go out and steal the control jolly now once again i don't think this setup is all that bad and i don't honestly know why i'm bringing my virtue i'm probably just gonna go in and call my karuma this is a dumb idea for this setup oh yeah we have some new people we don't have that guy from last time thank goodness we have a level 239 and a level 54 and honestly i think I think this one might be, in my opinion, the easiest setup out of all these setups for act number three. So maybe a little overkill with getting this many people, but hey, they all join and I'm just like, all right, let's go. Let's do it. All right. So we made it to the aircraft scrapyard and pretty much from here, we have to destroy equipment and steal the tank, which is inside. All right, there we go. I single-handedly destroyed all the equipment. My teammates are still not here. Where are they? Oh, okay. They're actually kind of close, but you know, I'll take care of it. It's fine. You know, it's my high. I'll do all the work. All right, there we go. I have cleaned out enough people where I can actually just start driving the tank and still my teammates aren't even here and they weren't that far away when we checked earlier. Well, as I said earlier, I don't mind being a one-man band, so the show must go on. You know, I wouldn't mind if the Doomsday Ice became a one-man heist, but I mean, the storytelling would be a little off. Oh, I literally have to wait for my team to enter the Kanjali. You know what? No. No, 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 no. I feel like it's kind of smarter for me to just keep going. Just because there's no helicopter spawning in right now. And the helicopters are Valkyrie, so it's like explosive round. So I'll get as close to where we're going as possible. All right, is everyone in? Okay, everyone's in now. All right, so now helicopters are going to start spawning in. I have to like kill these helicopters while also trying to make it to where we're going. Dude, these Valkyrie. Okay, man, I had such a bright idea. I kind of caved in and let my teammates just get in here. That was probably a bad idea. Tractor, you got to move. You got to move. All right, and there we go. We've delivered the Kanjali. And there we go set up pass let's move on to the final setup all right we are jumping into the final setup right here what is this one even called air defenses that's what it's called um yeah this is honestly probably the most boring setup out of any of the setups oh this guy's a vigilante so yeah with this setup i'm probably not going to show you too much of this because there's not really much to show all right here we go we have made it over this big plane and yeah we pretty much have to take this plane and we have to take out a bunch of air defenses on mount chili ad so yeah hopefully i can do this quick and we can just jump into my favorite finale in the game haha <laughs> so yeah we have to take out 
12 turrets on this mountain. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. All right, I have one more turret to go. Sorry, I haven't been talking too much. There's not really much to talk about. I mean, I just take out a bunch of targets and oh, my teammate got the final target. That's kind of nice. So yeah, now we just have to deliver the volatile back to Sandy Shores Airfield. And yeah, we'll be ready to go and take out Avon and destroy Clifford. All right, and there we go. We have delivered the volatile. All right, and there we go. Set up pass. Let's move on to the finale. All right, here we go. We are jumping into the finale of act number three. We'll have a potential pay cut of $1,900,000 pretty much. And we were doing all the setups on normal. That's why we were able to do them pretty quickly. But the heist finale itself is going to be on hard. And then we're playing right now with a level 92. So a pretty good level. But I think he did have to go through like the planning screen tutorial before he can actually ready up. So that could be scary. I don't know. We'll just see how this goes. All right, I've made it here before my teammate has. And I usually let my teammate choose which one we're going to use, what vehicle. I say usually, I'm still going to let him do it. I, I was going to choose it for him, but you know what? No, we're going to let him choose. So pretty much, if you don't know how this works, we could use the tank or we can use the barrage. The tank is a lot easier to go through, but the barrage, we can get more money if we use the barrage. But my teammate has to actually make it here. He is struggling to get here somehow. All right, my teammate finally showed up. All right, teammate, what vehicle are we choosing here today? Op, he wants the tank. Smart choice. You get to drive the tank because, well, you choose it. All right, now let's head over to Mount Chiliad and let's head over to the tunnel. All right, we finally made it to the tunnel. Uh, we just have to plow our way through here. And then we get to meet my best friends, the Juggernauts. And then I have to kill probably like 100 some people. So this is going to be the last easy part before we have to go through hell. All right, I am not going to lie. My teammate is taking his time throughout here. We're a tank. We don't have to take our time through here. We can literally just run past them and it doesn't matter. Well, as I start talking about it, he quickly shot there, but all right. So we've made it to the end of the tunnel. Um, is my teammate going to stay in the tank? Cause that's the smart move. Okay. My teammate is definitely staying in the tank. Very nice. There we go. God dang. My teammate could not hit a shot there for some reason. I had to hit the last one with the grenade launcher. All right. Anyways, let the fun begin. I've missed his heist. Did my teammate really just honk at me? Okay, yeah, you get out, you moron. Don't honk at me. Yeah, uh, the little bit that I've been with my teammate, I am already not a fan. My teammate's not doing bad right now, which is good, but we have to face another juggernaut, and, well, you know how much I love this juggernaut. What am I doing? I don't know. I usually... Okay, that's on me. I pushed too far. No more. No more silly business. Okay, my teammate's actually getting a lot of kills. Okay, maybe I talk too soon. All right, there we go. I got the dragon. All right, nice. So now is where it gets a little bit easier. Can't really see anything because it's so dark in here. Avon should have invested in some light down here, but it's okay. You know, whatever. Now we have to destroy the supplies, which kind of have to keep moving forward. I mean, that's pretty much the main goal. Whoa. Oh my God. One of the things I hate about this heist, not all the enemies are on the mini map. So when you think coast is clear, you're just running away like, oh, oh I killed everyone. Haha. <laughs> no. No. Uh, being very stupid, but as you can see with the kills, um, I thought my teammate was actually killing a lot of people. Um, statistics show that he's not. My back is going to be sore. I mean, spirits are down right now with this heist, but I mean, you know what will keep my spirits up? It's maybe if you click that subscribe button, if you haven't done so already, maybe leave a like while you're at it too. Maybe if you do that, I'll just complete the heist the next attempt. You know, that'd be really nice. Honestly, I don't want to be here all day doing this heist. So yeah, maybe click that subscribe button and leave a like down below. Thanks. Bro, bro, bro. Okay. One, I'm barely peeking my head out and I'm just immediately dying. Two, that's because you didn't subscribe. I caught you red-handed. I did. I did. That's a warning. That's a warning to you. If you want me to complete this ice, you have to subscribe right now if you haven't done so. Do it. What are you waiting for? No, 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 no. Thank you for killing him, but he disappeared off the map. I was like, oh, maybe it was like some weird glitch where he wasn't in. And, and then like he just came back and destroyed me. Why? Oh, God, my teammate's going on his own. No, I can't allow my teammate to go on his own. He can't defend himself. God, I don't like going in from this way. I never do this heist from going in from this way. I'm just so weirded out by this. Dude, I do this heist a ton. 
and this heist is still hard for me. Like, good lord. All right, there we go. All the supplies have been taken out. Let's go to the control center. All right, so we have to take out two more juggernauts. I doubt my teammate knows that we have to take out two more juggernauts. I've had such bad experiences using a homing missile. I kind of want to because we have to take out a juggernaut. You know what it's like taking out a juggernaut? Horrible. Oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention to my health because I wasn't even taking any damage until the last second. I'm being stupid. I'm not playing well. Oh, good job, teammate. I swear. I do something stupid, and then my teammates always just find a way to one-up me. There you go. Juggernaut dead. Let's keep moving forward. And let's not be stupid this time talking to myself. I mean, kind of also my teammate, but really more of me. All right, time to take out the juggernauts. You know, I love me a good juggernaut. Okay, actually pay attention to my health this time. I keep complaining about this every time I do this, but I do not have the weaponry to take out a juggernaut like this. Uh, and my teammate died. Uh, honestly, at this point, just sit back. I'd rather me screw up than him screw up. Oh, I want to watch my teammate die. Yep, moron. Sorry. I was like throwing my controller down, kind of in frustration, kind of taking a deep breath. I just look up. I see my teammate just walk in front. He's like, I'll handle this. Pew, 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 dead. No, that's embarrassing. I written, written, pen, paper, write. That shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. At full health, I barely exposed myself, and I am mowed down. Quite literally embarrassing. Okay, my teammate's not even moving right now. Might be benefiting me if he doesn't move, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know what my teammate's doing. I mean, he's going to need to do something at some point, but I guess he's fine right now. Okay, my teammate, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I can't, I mean, no, no, I'm done with him. I can't, I can't deal with him. I know I've been screwing up a lot, but oh my God, my job would be a lot easier with a better teammate and he can't help himself. 33 to three, that's 11 to one ratio. Get me out of here. I'm getting a new teammate. Level 90 should be level two. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. I have a new teammate. We are still on hard. Yeah, I made sure to get a good teammate this time. We are playing with a level 409 and i know for a fact that he's done this heist at least once so i am very very excited about that all right we made it here once again teammate which one do you want to choose my teammate is going to choose the tank okay yeah yeah. i want you to drive right now honestly you, you do the driving i'll sit back and mentally prepare for the fun that's about to happen all right we've made it to the tunnel and we've already made it to the end of the tunnel i had been kind of just sitting back putting myself into the mindset of we are going to complete this sooner rather than later. All right, let's go, teammate. Let's go. Okay, my teammate's using a lot of explosives. Didn't realize there was a guy right there. Um, He's dead now. Yeah, my teammate, this is definitely an upgrade. Very happy with this upgrade. Very happy he also took 15% too. Really appreciate that. Oh, I think my teammate's using a minigun also. Good. I like that. I don't have that, but he does. Oh, wait, no, he's not. I don't know what he's using. All right, there we go. All those supplies have been destroyed. Pretty easy first part i will have to say not a whole lot going on which i am very happy with let's just keep pushing forward i really not have snacks where did my snacks go what i barely have any snack where did my snacks go i'm so lost with that my snacks disappeared i checked before i restarted this i had full snacks now i don't have full snacks my teammate died i don't blame my teammate for dying i think part of that was that i didn't help a ton because i was wondering what the heck happened to my snacks and everything oh my he carried me <laughs> what a change of pace okay yeah snacks for this heist is very very important can't really do this heist without snacks at least not very easily all right once again all the supplies have been taken out still only our second attempt yeah i don't have full snacks or at least when i started out i don't know why we didn't have full snacks it's kind of concerning yeah i can't really do a whole lot with this juggernaut because i don't have snacks I literally respawned in back of my facility. I checked with the person up front. It said my snacks were full. I was like, all right, my snacks are full. My snacks weren't full. I was lied to. Once again, written apology. Oh my God, I killed a juggernaut. See, I'm trying to be so conservative here. Oh wait, did we kill all the juggernauts? Oh, well, I'm cool with that. Oh my God, dude, why? I don't even understand why there's even another option where you can like run to there. I, I just don't get it. That's just a slap in the face by the game. Why? Yeah, I might try to take a different strategy now knowing I don't have a lot of snacks. I might try to force myself not to use snacks with this first part, AKA let my teammate carry me. One, let my teammate get in front and I'm just gonna wait for my health to regen. What a wonderful time. 
And my teammate definitely knows what he's doing, so I'm very happy with this. All right, I never go this way. Should I go this way just for fun? Like, I literally never go this way. Like, this is new to me. Okay, well, my teammate's going this way. But we still need to get one of the supplies. Okay, I gotta go get the last thing of supplies. I don't want to die. I might have to use snacks here. No! Ugh. I am not a fan. I am not a fan fan of this oh my god how did i get more kills in him i didn't even use snacks oh my god did he leave uh, <laughs> that was a good teammate yeah he left <sighs> i was thrown out of my element when i didn't have like full snacks when i should have find another person i guess all right third time is the charm we have full snacks now hopefully we can do this pretty quickly all right we've made it back oh my god i swear this guy cannot drive i don't know what is up with this guy in driving but He's been having an issue driving. But anyways, we finally made it to the end of this tunnel. And we don't need to drive anymore. Why are we... You can get a little closer. I can't see anything because of these pipe things. I don't know what these are. Oh, good. My teammate's going to get out. You're... Oh, I didn't show you what level he is. He's level 125. And he didn't have to go through that cutscene for the heist planning room like how the first teammate did. So he's at least been through this before. Maybe not completed it. But yeah, that was a horrible first attempt couldn't even drive and just stopped and he's like oh let me get out and let me try to kill the juggernauts with a micro smg even though there's a tank that was gifted to us all right i can be a little bit more aggressive now though because i have snacks no teammate no, 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 no. That's not my fault. That is not my fault. Teammate cut me off, and instead of throwing the grenade, we just dropped the grenade right next to me, because, you know, I just love a good grenade right next to my right foot. So then I have to step up and try to run away from it. So, thank you, teammate. Levels are so deceiving. I mean, I get a level 125 is not, like, great. It's still pretty good. You definitely have to play the game a decent amount to have a level 125 but he is not playing up to 125 already oh my god oh my god one more dumb thing like that i'm already gonna get a new teammate this is stupid like i'm sorry level 125 you need to subtract what i'd say 115 I'm playing like level 10 okay my teammate is a high enough level to use a minigun i think he actually got the kill on the juggernaut which i guess i'm cool with but i mean he has the weaponry that i don't have but he does not have the mentality like i have so it is kind of difficult you can have the best weapons in the game if you can't use it the right way it is completely useless no i sw i've been using a lot of snacks this run this is why i need snacks i feel like i'm 100 percent like safe and that i'm not dude like this the previous attempts there was not a guy like oh my god and he's running behind every column and there goes my teammate oh my god I honestly don't know if I can complete it with this teammate. I don't want it. I'll give it one more good attempt. If I cannot get it through one more good attempt, we will move on to a different teammate. Oh my god, he died so quick. I died quickly too, but yeah, no, we're not doing it with this teammate. No, we're done. Give me out. All right, fourth attempt here. We are doing this with a level 289 now. Once again, still taking 15%. Hopefully level 289 can help me out or at least be competent. I have full snacks. I confirm that. You know what? Let's not try to complete it, all right? All right, all right. Let's have a different mindset going into this. Let's just have some fun. Let's just have some fun with this, you know? All right, we've made it back to the end of the tunnel once again i'm driving this time so no silly business here all right there we go now let the fun begin oh my my teammate committed to your level 2 89 was it really i hope that was a fluke please tell me that's a fluke because i can't deal with the stupid death i cannot i have been dealing with that too much aside from the one good teammate that i had that i didn't have snacks for if you're to die i would rather you have everything out on the table all the cards out on the table put everything out didn't hold back at all it gave it your best shot i don't like this i don't like these committing suicide deaths he's using a combat mg which you know is a pretty nice gun it definitely has the good weapons and everything i would like to make some progress with him using those weapons that'd be incredibly nice all right we've taken out all the supplies it's been a good run so far uh, he's been all alone too i let him go on his own and he's done great this time around so it seems home uh-uh uh-uh no 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 no, you're going to have to get your own paper, too, for the handwritten apology that you're going to have to write me. It's embarrassing. I'm behind a stack of pipes that are taller than my head. How am I getting hit? 
And it was from the minigun from the Juggernaut, too. I can confirm that, too. It was very little damage, but very quick. Not like a normal AR. That's just stupid. Every time I see a little light at the end of the tunnel, Rockstar and this heist just puts a freaking blanket over my eyes and block that light from me. No, no, no. Why do you auto-aim over the... Mm -mm, mm -mm. The handwritten apology is getting longer and longer and longer. There's yeah, he left over that too. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. From his perspective, he's probably like this moron keeps dying. Yes, but I have physical proof that it wasn't my fault. There's a guy ten feet away from us. Why are we aiming for someone that's like sixty feet away from us? Like I shouldn't have to say that out loud. I shouldn't have to ask it out loud. It's quite embarrassing. Handwritten apology. How many pages should we have it? Hmm. Because this is getting pretty lengthy at this point. Um, I hadn't really put a set length, though. I'm going to put a starting point at five pages at this point for this specific video. I mean, if you want to do in total, it's probably 40. But for this specific video, I'm going to say five. And that number's not set in stone. It could get even more. But yeah, I'm going to have to continue this tomorrow because, well, Rockstar doesn't want to give me any good luck for this. So appreciate it, Rockstar. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, it's a new day for me and my day is going well right now, I guess. Thank you for asking. Right before I started up this heist, I went to the store and I bought myself a grenade launcher. I cannot deal with this crap. I cannot deal with not having good enough weapons to take out a juggernaut. Another grenade launcher is not the best weapon for it, but I think for what I want to do, it's going to be the most effective. I'm not worried at the spot where I just throw like a normal grenade right at the juggernauts. I'm still going to continue to do that. That's not a big deal. It's the part towards the end before we get into the control center where we have to like take out two more juggernauts. That's the part where it's very difficult for me. So I caved, I got a grenade launcher, and hopefully that will make a world of difference. Uh, right now I am playing with a level 83. So hopefully this level 83 can play well. All right, once again, we've made it to the end of this tunnel again. First time today I've made it to the end of the tunnel. So yeah, let's start killing these juggernauts. All right, I would really like to complete this first attempt. So are we gonna complete this first attempt? Oh my God, with that aiming, very unlikely. Jeez, what was that? All right, this is still the part where I just want to throw grenades kind of like this because I still think that this is not a bad idea. And there we go. We already killed the juggernaut. And I saw my teammate try to kill these juggernauts with just a normal gun. That is not a great sign. Okay, my teammate's now pulling out a rail gun. Um, I can't get a good read on my teammate. Is he good? Is he bad? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Right, so what I want to do is come here. No, not there. I want to hide behind this box. And then I want to get out the grenade launcher. And then I just kind of want to do this number because I can easily just kill juggernauts like that. It's a lot safer doing it like that. Oh my God. I'm not a hundred. I swear. Whenever it gets to that part, it's just so annoying. I try to aim up there and I, it's just, oh man, every time. Oh, good five kills for you. Jeez. I'll send you the bill for my chiropractor. God. To be fair, though, five kills, but him not dying, that's good. That's good. I'd rather it be like that. I'd rather me cost it because then I know that I'm the one that's not doing things right and I need to improve. I got to be accountable here. Uh-uh. No, I talked about accountability. That's dumb. That's absolutely dumb. That makes no sense. I had full health. I poked my head and then like I died just immediately. It's quite embarrassing. Oh, okay. That's the first time my teammate died. Um, it's fine. It's fine. I've died too many times already. So a uh, big deal. All right, there we go. We destroyed all the supplies once again. First time since the first attempt. Oh no, my teammate committed. Okay. I don't like it when you die like that. Dude, my teammates actually getting a decent amount of kills. Like honestly, I mean, this is the first attempt where I kind of clearly had a lot more heals than needed. We've been pretty much even ever since that first attempt. I mean, if we get to the control center before you like, you know, rage quits, because well, everyone else has, including me, I think we have a very good shot of completing it just because he can actually defend himself when I'm doing all the hacks, which is probably the next biggest part about this heist. But I mean, we haven't even gotten there yet. So like, what am I talking about? Really? Oh, there we go. All the supplies once again have been taken out. So let's not die. Both of us. <gasps> Did I just get both juggernauts? Oh my god, I think I just got both juggernauts. Yeah, there's usually one that splits over here. I didn't know that they spawn like over there, like together, and then they split up. But I mean, one of the attempts yesterday for me, um, for you earlier in the video, I died pretty much right in here. So let's not let that happen again. I want to just at least hit a checkpoint. I didn't hit at all yesterday after like two hours of playing. Okay, we got it. We did it. We did it. We have made it to the control center. Oh my 
my goodness. I feel like I've completed the heist already. This teammate, I think from here on out, will be very, very good because he's proven that he can kill a lot of people after that first attempt where he only got like five kills. So yeah, as I'm hacking, he can defend, I think, pretty easily. All right, I made it to the second floor already. So now I need to just sprint to a server. That's what I like to do in here. I feel like if I just absolutely sprint, I can avoid a lot of the shots. Yeah, so now I have to do this hack and I have to get into hacking mode, which this hack, in my opinion, is the hardest hack in the game. But I've done this so many times where like I can get this pretty easily. All right, there we go. I completed the first hack. I was low key a little slow there. Oh my gosh, it got lit up right as I got out of there. All right, so now let's just push forward and let's head over to the next server. There we go. Another hack done. I have two more hacks to get to. Oh, dang it. All right. Well, not a bad first attempt, I think. Just let him get the hang of it a little bit more. He, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. There we go. One hack done. There we go. Hack number two has been complete. Two more hacks to go. Oh, my God. Dude, <gasps> he quit? No, 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 no. Please tell me you're joking. Please tell me you just died. No. Why? He probably didn't understand that I'm trying to hack. He's probably like, okay, my teammate's not helping me out at all. You could kind of tell a little bit it was his first time. Man, why? All right, here we go. The doomsday scenario once again. Blah, blah, blah. All right, uh, let's just get it done. I now have a level 117 in here. Hopefully things just start to gel, you know? That's kind of what I'm hoping for. All right, I'm back at the end of this tunnel. Um, I've lost how many times I've gotten to the end of this tunnel. Oh gosh, my teammate is pushing just straight forward. That is not a great sign. Hopefully my grenades will do something. Hey, why aren't my grenades doing anything? What the heck? Oh, did the juggernaut already die? I guess the juggernaut already died. I didn't show him being dead, but whatever. All right, there we go. All those supplies have been destroyed. It is still our first attempt. All right, there's one juggernaut down. I got to get the other one. Oh, I already got the other one. Oh, okay. Whoa. This is going great so far. Oh my God. Whoa. Everything is coming together with this heist. I don't really even feel like my teammates like playing that well. Like no offense to my teammate. I don't feel like I'm being carried, but I don't feel like I'm carrying either. If that makes sense. I, everything's just going great. Oh yeah. I never talked about this part either, but um, we have to go through here and we have to take out a bunch of people and then we have to go upstairs and then that's where I was doing the hacks. All right. Upstairs now. So let me start getting the hacks done all right there we go hack number one is done let's move on to the next one all right there we go hack number two done two more to go all right there we go hack number three is done we have one more hack to go and there we go that is the last hack that i have to take care of so now we just have to take out the remaining goons of avon all right there we go everyone's taken out so let's go to the top floor and yeah let's get into orbital cannon and blow some stuff up there's one mobile cloud server down three more to go and there we go. Another mobile cloud server has been taken out. Two more to go. All right, there we go. I just got the second last one. My teammate hasn't even taken out one of these mobile cloud servers. I don't know what he's doing. All right, there we go. I got the final one. All right, so now let's get out of here. All right, so we have to make it to the exit, but we still have to take out a few more of these goons, which is a little bit annoying, but whatever. No! I mean, okay, it's not the biggest deal in the world since we've done pretty much all the hard stuff already, but that's just so frustrating because we're so close to the end. Oh my God. All right, we've made it to the silo and hello, Avon. Um, Yeah, I'm sick and tired of you. I will take care of you. Oh, I was the one that took out Avon. I don't know, man. There's just so many helicopters just right in here. All right, whatever. <laughs> I just would like to land this thing and get paid. All right, just land this thruster right there. Run the cutscene now. Oh, this is a beautiful sight. Heist passed. All right, so we had a total earnings of $2,250,000. I got 85% of that, which is $1,912,000. I was the reason we had a quick restart, and we only had a quick restart once. I am very happy with that. All right, so after that heist, I now have $2,895,000. So now it is time for me to go back to my office and buy the vehicle cargo warehouse. All right, so here we go. Here's the Cypress Flats vehicle warehouse that we need to buy. So yeah, let's go over and let's purchase 
purchase this warehouse and boom there we go all right so if you don't know how this business works essentially we have to go here and we have to click this button to source a vehicle for this it'll give us a random vehicle and then we have to go out steal that vehicle and bring it back to the warehouse that i just bought and then once we bring it back to the warehouse we can then sell that vehicle off for actual profit so yeah that is now on the wheel of making money yeah but let's go visit this warehouse well here's my vehicle warehouse right here so we can store all the vehicles that we are going to steal right in here and then yeah we'll customize it and sell it off to a buyer make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see everyone use the best weapons in gta online except for me